the switch study focused on a group of boys with Duchenne and Becker muscular dystrophy, which is the most common neuromuscular condition in kids. Um, one of the standard treatments for this group of kids is the use of corticosteroids. And this study uh, we embarked on to better understand the experience of switching from one of the corticosteroids, prednisone, to another one called the flazacort. Um, to back up, corticosteroids have become standard of care um, and have been really for well over um, uh, two decades. Um, we know that boys on a corticosteroid will have the ability to walk for longer periods of time. So typically in this condition, boys lose the ability to walk between 10 and 12 years of age. But when they're on steroids, they walk for a couple to three years longer. They maintain upper body strength for longer periods of time, and it has positive impacts on the spine, breathing, and even the heart. And so we believe that boys um, should be on corticosteroids. So the SWITCH study was um, really to give us an idea of the real world experience. So the experience of physicians throughout the community. So not in a, a, a rigorous clinical trial, but the real world experience of people switching from prednisone to deflazacort. We wanted to know why um, uh, children were being switched from the prednisone to the deflazacort, um, how they did with that switch, um, and that included their outcomes um, from a functional standpoint, but also from an adverse event standpoint. And so the study is a retrospective chart review. Um, we reached out to neurologists in the community um, who were caring for boys with uh, Duchenne or Becker muscular dystrophy. And we had them review their records. Um, we looked at um, uh, the diagnosis of whether the boy had Duchenne or Becker muscular dystrophy. Um, how, when they started corticosteroids, how long they had been on prednisone, at what age they switched to deflazacort, and for how long they had been on deflazacort. And again, most importantly, how they did with that switch. So we had, I believe, 55 neurologists that completed uh, this study, and there were 92 boys. 62 um, of them had Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and 30 of them had Becker muscular dystrophy. And Becker muscular dystrophy is a more mild form of Duchenne. Uh, the boys walk longer um, and, um, and, in general, um, have a, a, a less aggressive phenotype. The reason for the change, uh, as uh, identified through this study, was to slow the progression of the disease. Um, was one of the main reasons. And another main reason that the boys were switched from prednisone to deflazacort was tolerability. One thing I didn't mention, and you may be aware, is that uh, corticosteroids, prednisone, um, which is the most common one we use, um, can really lead to a lot of side effects, weight gain, behavior changes, impacting sleep, um, short stature. And so uh, the tolerability uh, in our study was one of those factors that that, um, uh, that uh, prompted um, the switch from prednisone to deflazacort. Um, when we looked at uh, the physician's perspective on the, um, the uh, impact of the change, uh, in general, um, the physicians or neurologists felt that they uh, were either somewhat or very effective in terms of the switch, so that was a really good thing to see. We also looked, there's some practices, some neurologists who use something called the CGI or the clinical global impression. So that means um, uh, if I am seeing a child over time, how is that child doing? Um, are, they, uh, are they stable in their course? Are they getting better? Are they a lot better? Are they getting worse? Are they getting a lot worse? And so the CGI is a tool that we use to track outcomes over time. And so we looked at the CGI results um, of boys um, as they were switching from prednisone to deflazacort. Uh, and in all boys um, uh, on corticosteroids, um, most patients' disease either had improved or stabilized on steroids. And for those who made the switch to deflazacort, there was a, a shift to the left or a shift to improvement. So there was a greater improvement uh, on deflazacort compared to um, those uh, on prednisone. 
and the side effect profile of those adverse events that we see uh, when boys are on prednisone were less um, obvious when they switched over to teflazoport. So those are sort of the general results of the study. Um, you know, uh, for me as a clinician, it was great to see. Um, you know, something that I'm seeing uh, clinically uh, also that, that boys um, uh, seem to be benefiting um, from the switch from prednisone to deflasacort uh, with, um, uh, you know, more stabilization or improvement and, and fewer side effects. Mm -hmm.